I'm Jonathan, and today we're going to learn a little bit about the keywords feature that you can find in iPhoto. In the first video we did, we learned how to use faces to organize photos based on the people that are in them. But unfortunately, faces doesn't support pets like cats or dogs. So I found a neat little trick on how to use keywords as a great way of tagging photos with our pets in them so that we can find them really easily later. To follow along with this tutorial, you're going to want the 2011 version of iPhoto on any Mac and a collection of photos. Keywords is a very powerful tool for organizing your photos. We're going to be learning about how to use it on pets, but afterwards, feel free to explore how you can use it to organize various other types of photos, like identifying a photo as a landscape or a vacation photo, for example. Well, come a little closer and let me show you how I use it. So in this iPhoto library, I've actually taken the time in faces to mark each and every person. Unfortunately, this doesn't help me quickly find pictures of our dogs, Maxine and Connor. This is where keywords come in. I'm going to go back to events. To find keywords, you go up to the very top of the screen where it says window, and if you click on it, you'll see a list and an option that says manage my keywords. As you see, it's grayed out right now. In order to bring up the keywords manager, you have to be inside that group of photos. So I'm going to double click on this event and go back up to window. As you'll see, I can now select to manage my keywords. This is the window that pops up. It's got a selection of keywords that are preset. I want to make my own, so I'm going to click on the option that says edit keywords. In this window, I'm going to go to the very left hand side and click on the plus button to create a new keyword. I'm going to call this one Maxine. I'm going to hit the plus sign again and add Connor. As you'll see, Maxine and Connor are now part of the list iPhoto has also created keyboard shortcuts. If I want to change these, I can just double click and set a letter to be a shortcut to add that keyword. Here, I'll show you how it works. I'm going to click OK. And now I'm going to select this photo with Connor in it. All I have to do now is press the letter C on my keyboard or click on the keyword for Connor. I'm now going to use the right arrow on my keyboard to go to the next photo. This one also has Connor in it, so I'm going to press C for Connor. Go to the next one, or oh, another one of Connor, the next one, Connor, the next one, well this one has Connor and Maxine, so I'm going to press C for Connor and M for Maxine. I'm going to go to the next photo, and here I'm going to click on M for Maxine. Now if I accidentally tap the wrong shortcut, like for instance I hit M for Maxine when this was really Connor, I can just hit M again and it will remove it. I'm going to go ahead and tag the rest of my photos. Once I'm done tagging my photos, I can close the keyword window and go back to viewing all my pictures. Now if I want to quickly find a picture of Maxine or Connor, I can go down to the bottom left corner where you'll see search, and I can type in Connor. Now I can quickly see all the photos that I've keyworded with Connor. I can also add space Maxine and I'll find the photos that have both Connor and Maxine in it, making it a lot easier to sort through my photos. Once I've got a good selection of photos that are keyworded, I can then move on to some more advanced organizing techniques, such as smart albums, which we'll learn about in a future video. Now, don't restrict yourself just to photos of pets. Think of other things that you could tag photos of that you need to find quickly and often. In a future video, we're going to be learning about Smart Albums. Smart Albums allows us to take the organizational work we've done in faces and keywords and lets us automatically sort photos by certain criteria. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment. If you'd like us to do videos about other topics, please let us know.